Hey guys, so I'm not actually feeling that good today, but I'm going to make this video for you guys because I need to get it done and I want you guys to be a part of it. So I don't know if you can tell, but my hair, especially on this side, has been shrinking kind of fast. I'm excited, but it also means that it's knotting a lot and getting really loopy and tangly. And a lot of my dreadlocks are trying to stick together and I'm kind of tired of separating all of them, so I think I'm going to start letting some of them congo, but I don't want all of them to stick together and I want to remember which ones I want to stick together. So I'm actually going to wrap them. Basically, I've already done this before with a couple of dreadlocks that were not compressing and you can see those videos <laughs> on my channel. Basically the same idea, I'm trying to just get the two dreadlocks that I want to be one and wrap them together so that they stay. And I'm not confused which one's which and all that stuff. I don't know if I'm explaining this well, but that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I'm basically going to go and separate this and also wrap Congos together that I want to start. And I'll just show you the Congos I already have. So. I think I've already told you about this one a few times, but this is, I think, the second because there was a Congo that happened in the front of my face, like, really early on to where you can hardly even, it barely even mattered. But, um, yeah, so this is technically my second Congo, but kind of my first. It still has the two tips, but I also wrapped it with this yarn, and it's completely solid up here. And these tips are actually starting to form together. But this one, I twisted, I did like a little rope braid, and then I just pulled the end of the shorter one through the other one, and it's working extremely well. They're already like forming into one, you can hardly even tell, except for the fact that it still looks braided. Here's the other one, and this one has my orange bead, and it's getting swallowed up by the other dreadlock because these two kind of started forming together by themselves, and I just let it happen. Also, it's doing this weird thing. Yeah, but I think it looks cool. It's getting swallowed a little bit. The only place that they're not formed together yet is right here. There's like a little hole, but yeah, it's doing well. Sorry about the noise. There's work being done in the house. Yeah, so there's some on top that I'm probably going to tie together and yeah, long intro. Let's get started. So I'm just going to start by separating, doing my usual. I also have a video on my channel about separating, if you need to look at that. <laughs> Ugh, this is a wild mess, guys. Oof. It does hurt a little bit, but oh well, it gets easier. for myself that the more often I wash my hair the more tangled it gets because I guess I'm taking the oils out and just drying it with my towel and giving it some friction so the more you wash your hair and dry it or the more you get it wet and dry it the more you're going to have to separate but that's not really a bad thing because it means that your dreads are maturing and it's a good sign but it's not fun <laughs> it doesn't take that long to do it it's just one of those things that you don't want to get around to. I've been putting it off for quite a while now. That's why mine is so bad. Oh, girl. Oof. <sighs> Okay, 
So I'm not really going to let any of the bottom ones congo because they are already pretty thick. The ones that I wanted to congo, I already did. So also, look like how skinny that is. I think this one's one of my longest because it hasn't really shrunk. So yeah, I'm pretty much going to be working with the top ones that are a little bit thinner. I know there's, yes, here's one. I was looking at my hair the other day and I think I'm gonna let these two be buddies forever and join in marriage. But yes, it's mostly gonna be the ones on top. So right now I'm kind of just separating. So I'll try to make it quick. Another thing you might be interested to know is that I do not crochet my dreadlocks. I don't put the loose hairs back into any one dreadlock kind of let them be that probably makes for more separating on my part but I prefer that I don't know. I just don't like crocheting I don't think it's necessary and it never stays so yeah I don't do that the loose hair just roams freely that I used in my how to wrap dreadlocks video I made on my channel. I'm just gonna have to put the links to these videos in the description for you guys because I'm talking about a lot of old videos. I guess that's what happens when you've been doing it for a year. <laughs> and I've got this thing sticking out of it. It's wrapped. I think I'm gonna do another color over it. Let me do green. Okay, so I just finished wrapping it with the green and the orange and I left these two ends separate because this one is wrapped and this one is not. But not is, but <laughs> I didn't want to wrap them together so the ends are separate. But this is what it looks like. Back to separating. So much fun. <laughs> now I'm just looking for some locks at the top that are already sticking together like those two were. But none of them are quite like that. I'm looking for ones that are actually like really starting to join. Oh, here's the other one. It's the other one on top. I think this is the one I showed you first. We're gonna wrap it. I'm just gonna show you what it looks like at the end. Okay, I finished wrapping this one. I used the purple and the blue. I left the ends out this time because I think that will be better. This one's a lot more shrunk than this one. Oh, <laughs> still getting used to this camera. But yes, this is much longer than this one, so I just decided to leave it at this giant loop here. And I think it looks pretty good. And now we've got these two next to each other. <laughs> And I was not planning that, but hello. I'm gonna keep on separating. I think those are the only two. I only noticed two, I think, that I was going to for sure wrap. This is a good look. I will probably do just a fun wrap as soon as I'm done separating, so stay tuned for that. 
Okay, I finally finished separating and it still looks kind of just the same because it's all just a mess. If it's just for fun, I think it's better to wrap really thin dreadlocks if you're going to be putting a lot of string or fabric or yarn on them because the more fabric or string or whatever you have on your dreadlock, the harder it is for it to dry. So the thinner it is, the easier to dry. Science, stuff like that. I'm going to change camera angles on you again real quick. I'm going to do this one a little bit differently because I'm not doing the same thing. I'm basically just going to do this one like any other hair wrap that you would do on loose hair. Except for it's on my thin little dreadlock. The hardest part is keeping the loose hairs out of it. <laughs> now this kind of wrap is going to definitely inhibit the friction going on in your dreadlock, so just be aware of that when you put it in. That this dreadlock is not going to really mature that much while it's in this, oh. if at all. They just look really cute. So all I'm doing is just wrapping it around. And I'm just going to do that, and then I'm just going to show you what it looks like at the end, because it's worth boring. Okay, so I just finished wrapping it, and I wrapped the whole thing, and then I went around it one more time in crisscross, and then tied it off at the ends and cut that short. And this is what it looks like. And this is also one of my longer dreadlocks, so it looks kind of cool looking out at the end. And then here's my old one to welcome them all. And, yep, there's all my wraps. I hope this was fun for you guys to watch. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me while I did this. It's entertaining, right? I love you guys. You guys are the best. Have a wonderful, fabulous, amazing day. Bye.